Nick, what did you buy? What did I buy? You bought it. Oh. You picked it out. Yeah. Okay, well, I got the cheapest China 50 amp plasma cutter on Amazon. Size of a purse. Yeah. It's adorable. Sorry, that's probably not how you want me to describe the plasma. I think it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Usually not a gambling man, but. It's quite the gamble. Well, okay, how much did it run? Okay, so on an Amazon Lightning deal, it was $160 plus tax. Uh, normally, I think this one's $200. It's a 50 amp. Uh, pilot arc, so I don't remember what the model number was, but it's got the, the automatic arc, so you don't have to uh, touch the, the tip to get it to start. Mm, okay. So, a couple of things I did like about this one, it's got a built-in regulator that's not hanging off the back, and there's a filter inside, um, and it's got the pilot arc. Those are, uh, I guess, a couple of the only features that really stand out. And it's tiny. And it's supposed to be 50 amps, so we'll, we'll see. Now, how's uh, the plug-in work? Yeah, so on the picture, one thing I didn't, <laughs> I don't like now. I'll have to uh, show it on like a screenshot. On the, on the picture of Amazon, they show, let me go grab it. Okay. I'll grab it. Okay. It's not sketchy at all. They show the reverse of this adapter. So now it's got a 110 15 amp cord end on it that will adapt to a 220 plug. On Amazon, it showed a 220 cord end that adapts to 110, which in my opinion is a lot safer. If we plug this into 220, we'll be running possibly at the 50 amps through the 15 amp cord end. So we'll see how that holds up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got 30 days to return it through Amazon, so we'll uh, try to do a lot of testing in the next couple weeks. So one of the big things we got it for was trying to cut the, the floors out of the Z for a floor pan replacement, and we don't have a plasma cutter at this garage, so this was our, our cheap option for that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how it does. Not sketchy at all. Yeah. So far I've got it out of the box, plugged everything in. Um, I swapped out the air fitting to the style that we use here. So I just unthreaded the old one and threaded the new one on. Uh, plugged the, the torch in. Uh, it all came with the nozzle or the tips, everything already in it. Um, I suppose it's a decent looking. I like the drag guard on it. Torch for a, you know, for a China plasma cutter. Yeah, the the drag guide is nice, and the the sheathing on this is. Oops. That's why we can't have nice things nice. when we buy China. Yeah. It smells like China. Is, the whole house smell. smells like China after unboxing us. Yeah. With the cheap plastic smell. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyways, we've got some eighth inch, three sixteenths, which I think we'll cut on the one ten, and then we'll move and go plug into two twenty and try to cut quarters. Here actually. Some half inch that we have. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Wow. I think this model, 50 amp, says it's supposed to cut at least half inch. So hard to believe out of the little little guy. A little purse plasma. Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's see what it does. Ready? Power on the back. Yep. Turns on. 
plus. Is the fan just always on? Maybe. That might be a bummer. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I pick a lot of plasmas to make that constant. Um, mm. Maybe mm. not. It's better than no fan. That's true. Yeah. If we don't hear the fan, then we'll know there's a problem. Right. <laughs> so as a safeguard, how smart they were to yes. install that that way. Okay, let her rip. Okay. Starting with... Eighth inch. Okay. I'll just use the other piece as a guide, I think. Your plasma first cuts things. Let's see that cut. Don't look at that. That one got away from me. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. One more. See if you can do it twice. Again. Yeah. Same, yeah. Same yeah. I was definitely moving too slow. It's a little bit oh. less. Ooh. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, we've got three sixteenths now. good okay now now quarter now quarter bit left, but it went through it. Yeah. That's not bad. 110. I don't know if I was moving too fast or slow. Your but gloves are smoking. <laughs> Those perfect. aren't rated for plasma. They're warm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it might cut quarter inch a little bit better on the higher amperage. But it did it. Yeah. So you want to get brave and try 220 now? Yeah. But 220, way over there. So we got to relocate. Ready? Yeah. Not nerve wracking at all. Will it trip a breaker, worst case? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or melt that plug in. But not like our actual wiring, right? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, this is newer wiring that we're running on. We updated that portion. So it fired up on 220. Does it show 50 amps? It shows 50 amps. Now we're cutting half inch? Half inch. I'll get the cord in the shot in case it melts. <laughs> You're kidding. Okay, how hot's the cord end? <laughs> it's not smoking. It's not smoking. It's, like it's cool. In here. 
So it did cut through the half inch. Uh, it's not the prettiest, but that could have been my cut speed. There's quite a bit of slag. Uh, I'm guessing it'll chip off. But uh, I really don't see us trying to cut half inch too often. I don't think, <laughs> I mean, I don't really like building anything out of half inch or really thick material or anything really over quarter inch most of the time. So if we're cutting something this thick, it's either a bad day or we're just trying to scrap stuff and it doesn't really matter what it looks like, so. You wanna pull a tape on it? Yeah, so you guys don't believe us. And uh, yeah, it's half an inch. Sure enough. Yep. Pretty impressive, purse plasma. What is OC? What is OC? Hmm? So you have 110, 220, and OC. I have no idea. That would be in the instructions that we didn't read. Yeah. Oh, okay. They are in English. They're just not spelled right. <laughs> okay. Well, we can say it works. So that's a plus. Um, if you are on a budget and just, you know, doing hobby work in your garage, then I would say try it out. Um, uh, you know, definitely worth it so far. We haven't had any issues. If you are planning on running production use, like a CNC plasma cutter, maybe I would, uh, think twice or definitely try it out in the first 30 days or... <laughs> If you think you can get your use out of it in 30 days. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I suppose you could buy, you know, about 10 of these for the uh, expensive, real quality name brand ones. But so far, I would recommend it. But we can update later in the comments if it dies <laughs> or if we have any problems with it. And so this is the Dyna Loop, and we can post the link down in the description. Uh, just on Amazon. I'm sure there's others similar like it, so if you see one you like better, try it out. Let us know in the comments. And uh, that, that's it for this video. We didn't have any fires, so we'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, side note. When Nick told me he was buying this purse plasma, I didn't think it was going to work. I totally thought the wires were going to melt or it was going to fry on the first cut. So let it be known, I was proved wrong, the purse plasma worked, and Nick was right. Happy. Sorry, can you repeat that? Nick was right about the purse plasma. Okay. Not a purse. It is a purse plasma. <laughs> <laughs>